The Detroit Auto Show isn't all about new cars being introduced by car companies. Suppliers are also showing off some of their latest technology, including a vision of what a shared autonomous car could be right. like. Eric Mitchell is an executive vice president right. with Adiant that's doing this. Right. And uh, Thanks for coming. Thanks. So uh, tell us about your vision here. And in fact, why don't we start the, the whole process in motion? Yeah. Well, what you see here is really our vision of an autonomous three or four level vehicle where we want to really show what the interior of a car could be. So you're reconfigurable. Reconfigurable. So obviously I am away from the steering wheel. Actually, you can see actually here there is no steering wheel. Um, but then you're going to be coming here and turning around and really being in a position where you can talk to me more in a comfortable way and how we can have a nice dialogue, for instance. And so my seat's got to move up and everything to be able to turn around, yeah, plenty so of leg room and all that. Plenty of leg room, um, much more comfortable to look eye to eye as opposed to having to look around or, or talking around uh, different equipment in the vehicle. So very interesting how you got the seats yeah. moving. What else have you done in this vehicle or this, this design well, this is the I mean, this is the main thing that you see, but really there's a, a lot of technology behind it all. So obviously us moving around and all that, there's a lot of technology from mechanisms in terms of how a seat can actually turn, how we can move uh, from one side of the vehicle to another uh, and do it in a way that's safe. So um, obviously, you know, we're so used to having a seat belt that's on us uh, having an airbag that's coming out of the steering wheel or from the, the passenger side, here we can't do that. So there has to be different solutions to keep safe while we're in these different uh, positions. So there's actually a lot of technology behind that. Now presumably there would be seat belts. It, there would be seat belts, they would be but, integrated. But, so we haven't done that for this just because of people Getting in and out, out all the time, system. right, yeah. Another aspect to it is the whole connectivity within the vehicle itself and how the driver, or it's actually a rider <laughs> in this case, can still communicate with the vehicle itself. And so there's different controls here in terms of how to interact with the vehicle. There's actually as well biometric data that the car can pick up from the, from the rider in the seat that it picks up from your body. Um, there's also different ways in terms of um, uh, how to communicate uh, that, that and connect like with the internet and other different types of things. So a lot of different things that uh, we're adding to here. And you can imagine that, you know, this is kind of a ride sharing uh, uh, type of vehicle. It's not a, a personal vehicle per se. And so you can think that as we get into ride sharing, individuals are going to have to have different requirements. How do you pay? How do you pay for the car? And, and so there's different ways of well, as well how to do a commercial, um, have a commercial solution for that. So it's very interesting that Adiant is displaying this at an auto show. Yeah. W what do you do? You have the different car companies come up absolutely. and take a look and pitch yeah, in your ideas. If you, if you look in the in the booth here, every 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 day or every every hour, we have different com uh, customers coming in here and really interested. And it's really, what we're doing is we're working with them to really think about what the future of the interior of the car is going to be. Um, really, our our hypothesis is once it gets to autonomous vehicles. The, the selling proposition of a vehicle is going to be completely different. So it's no longer going to be, how does the vehicle drive? How does it handle? It's going to be, what, it, what does a passenger experience in the vehicle? That's going to be a key selling point for the automakers. And so what we're trying to do is work with them to really envision what that could be. And this being so new, this whole concept, yeah. I bet nobody really knows exactly where it's going to go. They must be looking for all kinds of ideas They're, from companies like you. Absolutely, and one thing about Adyen is we are very prevalent throughout the whole world. So we, we sell to Asian customers, European customers, American customers, and with that we're really able to get a really broad and deep insight in terms of what consumer tastes are. Very good, I know we've just hit the highlights here, but Eric, thanks so much for this yeah. overview. Yeah, thank you.